guys and welcome to James Bryant Photography and Models here on YouTube. This uh, new video of a uh, series I should say will be focusing on Spot On Magazine, the official Stobart Members Club magazine. Uh, every, well this comes out four times a year, so four times a year you'll be having a new video like this. We will be only focusing on the spot on side and not the steady eddy side, although we will give it a brief look. Uh, I hope you like where it's been set. I'm now I'm on a sit down place, nice bit of set behind me, and it works out nicely. Uh, you'll also have some other bits and bobs filmed on the normal camera, which will have a closer look at what I'm looking at. So, onto the front cover. We've got the spot on. And that's Stobot Members Club Official Magazine, and this is the Spring 2017 edition. We've got a nice picture of Rainbow Valentina, which is the brand new 66 plate R series Scania. Personally, I don't like that Scania with that livery on it. It looks better in Malcolm's or anyone else's, but it is a okay-ish model. Lorry, I should say. Then we've got new Scania, delivering Reliance together. The LSA fleet, so we're going to have a good look at the uh, airport fleet, and then 25 years of the members club. Of course, I've already done a little video on that. So we open up, we have a content and where to find it, the, the stories, and we also have uh, a little blurb thing from the head of the Stobart club team. That used to be done by head of the company, so it was Edward Stobart then William, then Tinkler, then back to William. Now it's just back, just Stobart Club. It's not as good as it used to be, but still. So, on to page four. Fleet news. We've got a massive article on the brand new Scania that's come to the fleet, and I'll show you that as a brief new clip just now. Also, on this page, we've also got uh, an article about the new 17 plate Volvos, which you would have also seen in that little clip, and the clip, and there's also a story on a new fire engine, which they've got for a reserve at the airport down in South End. Turning over then, we've got a story all about the brand new Eddie Stobart Link, which is the new tracker system they've installed into all their wagons and then next to that we've just got a little story about that they've updated in the app and then it's going to start having biomasses on it again which is very nice and then we've also got a little story about a stable energy fuel supply to a power station in Lisa Halley Northern Ireland and the first vehicle there was Amanda Rebecca Again, I will show you a closer look at this this page, uh, like I did the last one. And then we've got a delivering resilient stowbot group has been working together throughout the winter to provide flood barriers to support the environment agencies, flood defence. Uh, I presume that's stowbot rail because that's the engineering division that seems to do that. But of course, the normal trucks as well pull in stuff. Celebrating 25 years of Stobart Club, we have this brilliant double page spread on past fan letters, pictures, merchandise, photos that have been brought in. 
into the club. was another one, no, I was mistaken, because I've already had a quick flip through this before making this video. Then we've also got, on this page, uh, a feature on the Stobart Superbikes, and sadly enough, a photo of the brilliant little daft trucks that they've got for this though, this contract, but, very brilliant. And, uh, This actually tells you about the team. It's uh, two BMW superbikes uh, built by Tass Racing, but they have Suzuki engines. How can it be a Mercedes? Not a Mercedes, a BMW. That's what I don't get. Then uh, on this side, we've got a little advert coming soon. Members, brand new members, benefits of being in the club. Uh, all to do with going to South End Airport because of course Stobart Group own the club now not only Stobart Limited so you've got some more club benefits but of course the price is going up this year no longer £15 for the year it's now 18 and under there we've got the adverts for the 25th anniversary stuff and there is the money box I was talking about in my last Model Man edition don't buy it Get it from the power shop, print off the label yourself, That's far cheaper uh, than paying £9. What? Well, £10 if you're uh, not a club member, £9.50 if you're a club member, not much of a discount at all. Just go to the power shop, get one for a pound. You can do the decor stuff like that, I've shown you on how to decor. And then you've got your own, free, for half the price of what that costs. But still, if you want it, buy it but no and next page and I'll show you a closer look at this one because it's uh, a double spread we're looking at the transport supervisor at the London South End Airport and we're getting a good look at the fleet here and a nice double uh, page picture on there a few little pictures of the fleet up and around and a nice uh, picture of the man next to it fill her upper It's basically a Q&A session with the transport supervisor. I'll give it a brief little scan round with the normal camera to show you. also have more club photos but this is this month's well this time round uh, entries I'm trying to get that lined up for you but and then there's more just here I'm trying to get this lined up perfectly towards the camera for you And I've also got a thing here, this side. You've got a uh, fan focus. I've applied to that, but I don't think I've been accepted. And then there's also a thing about taking rugby depot tours. It's of course the only depot now that can do rugby tours, the tours. And they're doing um, what well, Easter's gone, but you've got spring half term that's 27th of May to the 3rd of June. Uh, you've got summer holidays, so that's July 8th, 15th, 27th, and 29th. August 5th, 12th, 19th and 26th and the last one is September the 2nd and they're the only times they are doing the tours this year. And then we've got this brilliant uh, dual page poster 
of Valentina, of Rain Rainbow Valentina. Now, I'd love to be able to get that actually as a canvas. As much as I don't like the look of the front of the wagon, that is a absolutely smashing photo of the truck. So, moving on, you get a blast from the past section, which basically looks back at the old uh, magazines and articles. Uh, of course, I think I've already got this this one in its original format uh, somewhere in my collection. And this one goes back to. Where does this one go back to? Well, no, I probably haven't got this one because this one's from 1992, so I only got 98 when I first started. So it's. Uh, Looking back, you've got a nice old Volvo, you've got some of the old Scania's there, and of course I will give this a brief little look over with the camera. And of course next to that, we've got competition, enter your photos to, for a chance to feature on next year's calendar. I always enter, but they never seem to peak mine, I don't know why. Lastly, to finish off the members spot on side, you get some fun and games, spot on, word searches, crosswords, and mazes, uh, some colouring in to do, and then the answers. So, And then, you flip the book over, and you get Steady Eddie Edition. Uh, not as good as the Steady Eddie's, I remember. And we'll just give this a quick brief round look like this because the Steady Eddie now doesn't interest me as much as it used to do with the, I don't know if you can pick it up, there's a little Steady Eddie just there. That's the original Steady Eddies, the far better versions as well. So, can you get it? bits and bobs, at least to get some pictures of the real fleet rather than just cartoons. Although I do quite like that little cartoon there of the biomasses, that's quite good. But it's basically a lot of stories, it's like a big storybook basically. A comic book even, I'd say. So we've got story each month, each time, and guess what? Steady Eddie comes to the rescue and saves the day. And then again, they finish off with word searches, colouring in, more colouring in, and answers to their question. So that is well, Steady Eddie and Spot On Magazine Spring 2017. I really hope you've enjoyed uh, this look round, the look at the magazine that comes for the official Stable Art members. I hope this has inspired to any of you that follow my channel that aren't members to join. But if not, I hope you've enjoyed the video anyway. So, coming up on the channel soon. We have not only that model man after Truck Fest, we've got uh, some new items. We've got the uh, new cross stitch. We've also got 
a new model. And we've got something else somewhere which I can't remember where to put it. Which is very handy. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Do keep liking and subscribing to the channel. Uh, do pass on to all your friends. I'll see you next time here on the channel. Uh, have a good one.